Hello, this is Micah with Aggressive Mastery. I'm uh, starting a video game to modify the Unity FPS sample, and so I wanted to go ahead and put a little video up to help uh, any of the other modders out there, since uh, we're modding this game that Unity was so nice to put together for us. Um, as you can see on the screen here, what we're looking to do is add some additional levels, and uh, we'll go through the steps that you should do to get there, and some of the hangups you might run into. So first off, uh, I'm right. This is uh, November 28th, 2018. You can see the Unity build, and I'm on one of the first uh, builds of the FPS sample. The initial steps I want you to do is make sure that you've already compiled the sample and have successfully launched the game, got through the menu, joined a server and client together, and have gotten it working. Uh, if you're having issues right now with what you what you should be uh, been able to follow uh, from the FPS sample, which does have some hangups, uh, then you might want to go iron those out first before trying to modify the example. Um, so right here on the Unity page, which I'll link to, they go through the details about what you need to do, and there's many little steps of re-importing that you got to do and things like that. So I assume you've already gotten that all taken care of. Um, the next thing we're going to do is that uh, currently today, with the versions I'm using, you have to turn off version control. They've, uh, they forgot to do that before exporting the project, I believe, is what it says from the form. Um, so you can go here and read the form page. I'm using Nate's fix on how to do it. Um, and what that does, change log here is he talks about it, is we go in and edit. So I'm going to go ahead and it says, uh, Head on up here to edit, head to project settings. That's going to pop up a new window here. You're going to go ahead down to editor, head over here to version control, and yours is most likely going to be set on plastic SCM. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And you want to have it be visible meta files. Visible meta files will, I believe, let it only see the files on your system rather than trying to go back to GitHub and keeping version control on all the, the main files that are locked. So go ahead and click that off. In future versions of uh, the SPS example, they're supposed to fix this, so this shouldn't be an issue. But right now, it, uh, I believe it is. So you can exit out here. And then what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and create a new level. And I'm going to do that walking through what Josh had outlined in this post. Um, and that is right here. I'll link that as well. So we'll go back into Unity. And what, when you load up the FPS sample here, and you have your project tools, project tools, of course, is how you access that, is you go over to uh, FPS sample up here, head down to window, and hit project tools. That will pop a window out, and I like to dock it, but we'll open and close this a few times today. All right, now what you'll want to do is go down in your project here for the FPS sample once you've loaded it all up. Head down to Scenes. In Scenes, you're going to have the existing scenes. You can see I've added two new ones. We're going to go ahead and add a fourth. So go ahead and create a new folder. Go ahead and name it what your level is going to be. So we're just going to keep with my uh, current syntax here and just name it Level 04. Head on into Level 04, right click, and once again create something new. We're going to go Create, and this time I'm going to do FPS Sample and Create a Level level info. Go ahead and rename this to match your level as well. And then go ahead right click again, create, and we're going to create a scene. And name this the same thing as well. Now you might be able to play around with changing this stuff, but for right now I'm just copying what I'm doing. When you click on the level uh, information that we first created, you're going to want to come up here, main scene, and hit ob and select the actual scene we just created. Now this is where you're going to run into an error saying there's a version control if you didn't do the piece that we first started off about fixing version control. So go ahead and back up and hit that. But otherwise this is where we'd run into that version control issue. There's level 02, but actually we're working on <laughs> level 04. So select that scene. And that's going to make the main scene, if you have multiple scenes for whatever issues like lighting, which you'll see, uh, or game uh, stuff. But anyway, there you go. Now what you're getting is the level information is right here within that folder, and it's pointing to the scene as the first thing to load. 
Now, if you went back to projected tools, it might show up here, but it might not. So if it doesn't, try closing it out and launching uh, FPS sample, Windows, Project Tools again, and there, you can see it level four is now showing up. You might want to wait a second, maybe launch this, uh, launch this a few times if it doesn't work like it did here. Maybe refresh down here. Don't do anything too crazy, but just go through and make everything's, make sure everything's uh, talked to itself completely, you know? Uh, I go ahead and let's go ahead and load that scene. And you can see it's got nothing in it. It's an empty scene made by Unity, a main camera and a light. I'm gonna go ahead and make a, uh, drag in something here, a plane, so that we have something to walk around on. And just by doing that, and we'll go ahead and look at the inspector, you can see it's set at zero on that plane, nothing more. And this plane is just a plane I put my logo on and, and dropped into a prefab for simple speed here. Um, we will now have a playable level that both teams can spawn on magically. Um, and we'll go into more detail on the other stuff later. So, <clears throat> let's run it. Go back to Project Tools. Go ahead. I'm going to update. The, oh, oh, oh. I wanted to save everything before updating. So, save. Save project. So, I save the level. I save the scene. I save the project. Now, I'm going to come over here. Update registry. And wait for it to finish. We're going to do a single level build. And we're going to force the level we just made, which now should show up for you as level four, or whatever you named yours. Probably level two, but it's fine if it's level four. And it's building right now. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the assets too. I don't know if you need to. But since I added the plane in there, I don't know if there's some asset stuff that goes on. And so it's been funky, so this way it just works every time. Maybe I'll put in, put in the comments if you don't need to build the assets. And then what you're going to find, and we'll actually do this, is that we'll, uh, if we were to run the game right now, even though we've built the level and we've updated registry and we've compiled the level, the game itself hasn't been rebuilt. So how does the game itself know in the menu, uh, the create game menu, uh, what levels there are? So you can click the drop down, select the level, and then hit launch the game. You have to edit the actual menu file to do that. So that's our next step here. So we've done all this stuff to create the level framework. And now we need to update the actual menu, main menu.cs currently at about line 74. Uh, and add a new name. And that name does get changed into a variable a little bit later in the script. So while that's building, actually, uh, the map will go ahead and launch into the main menu.cs, which is in the, the scripts folder. So let's just go ahead and look at that. Let's find it, huh? Game, all right, game front end. The front end, so scripts, game, front end, main menu. There she is. Go ahead and open that up. Head to around 74 here, and you're gonna see I added some lines. For our new line here, we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And you could go ahead and create an array here, do whatever you wanted to change this. But right here, this is how they actually store the levels currently. Rename it to what your level is actually named, because it's going to take this variable down here, uh, around 74, I say. Ah, oh, whatever I said. Sorry. 144. and say var level name and grab it. So that is where they store the levels right now. So go ahead and save this. And we're gonna go ahead now that we've finished building the level, built the assets. Now we're gonna go ahead and I think all we have to do is build scripts. 
And so I think this is how you get around having to rebuild the whole game just to add up one new level, is you just rebuild the scripts. Let's see. Build the new single level bundle mode, rebuild scripts only, run the tests, and we'll run that test, okay. Yep. If you get this error, it hasn't caused me an issue yet, and I think it's common. So I think you can kind of ignore it, and it'll probably be fixed later. But open that build folder. Now, if you look in the asset bundles, you should start seeing these show up for your new levels. A manifest in the actual level itself. The big file is the level, and the manifest is some metadata, I believe. So, and also, you go back to the auto build here, the game config. These are not made automatically. So if you were to create one and have it want to just load into the menu, that's all you got to put in there. Load level menu. What you're running the console commands. This is the first batch that gets executed. And the user config here it looks like this. And this gets saved uh, if you run it from the console and hit save to, as a default, or you can modify it to do your initial loading information. So let's run, the, let's run this thing. going to go ahead and fire up the extra server and here on it you're going to see we're on the plane, out in the middle of nowhere so it automatically put it here even though all we have is a camera and the plane and stuff in here and if we want to go ahead and do this once more we can launch it again come on get, it's just taking my mouse away from me almost almost Oh, join. Boom, there you go. So now we're on our custom level here, level four. And the server is aware, I mean, everything works, right? You can select it. Someone can actually play your level. You can try play around with renaming it, stuff like that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But uh, that's how you get the, your own custom level into the FPS sample. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to bringing new stuff to you um, as uh, I figure it out, and hopefully some cool games here shortly as well. Alrighty, until then, hasta la vista, baby.